Neuropathy. If you or anyone you know who has neuropathy, you know right away how painful and irritating it can be. And a lot of the time, neuropathy comes from the complications we get with diabetes, injury, or trauma, and is a side effect of chemotherapy. And in this video, I'll be going over five supplements for helping with the symptoms of neuropathy that I think that you might find useful. If you guys are new here, this channel is all about helping you make informed decisions as well as being the know when it comes to your health and wellness. And I'd love for you guys to gently tap on that like button down below. And if you really like the content, then consider subscribing as well. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. And I've also left timestamps down below too to make finding the information a little easier. You see, our nervous system has two parts. You got the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which includes all of the other nerves that run throughout the body. Peripheral neuropathy refers to the damage of the peripheral nerves, the nerves that are outside of the brain and spinal cord. And you got three types of these nerves, sensory nerves, which helps you feel, motor nerves, which helps you to move, and autonomic nerves that help sweat, breathe, and digest food. And most of the pain is actually felt in the hands and the feet. Tingling pins and needles that sometimes spread throughout the legs and arms can sometimes feel like you're always wearing socks and gloves when you're actually not. And the issue can be so frustrating because we often find that nothing helps. So how can we navigate through this? Well, that's when supplements were reviewed to see if there were any benefits. And ideally, we should get as much nutrients from food, but let's be realistic. Deficiencies are way more common than you think because we don't get enough of the whole nutrient dense foods, like enough vegetables, fruits, quality proteins, healthy fats, and whole grains, especially if you're in the US. And even if we did, many of us can't digest them fully. So after your doctor has given you the green light to try supplements, because you should always consult with them before trying anything out, especially if you have kidney disease, the first one on our list is methylcobalamin or vitamin B12. This is because deficiency in vitamin B12 is one of the causes of peripheral neuropathy because if you don't get enough of it, you begin seeing damage to the myelin sheath that surrounds and protects the nerves. So it's important to get your B12 levels checked to see if you would derive its benefits in the first place. Studies also show that vitamin B12 can help to restore the structure and function of nerves, which I thought was really interesting. Secondly, folic acid or vitamin B9. Recent studies are showing that supplementing with folic acid plays a role in nerve repair, myelination, and protects the nerves from damage from diabetes. It can even work with B12 to reduce nerve pain. In a 2016 study, folic acid was shown to protect against diabetic peripheral neuropathy by upregulating nerve growth factor. And you also hear that the talk about folic acid versus natural folate, Folic acid is a lab-derived synthetic version of natural folate. Then one step further, 5-MTHF is considered the active form of folate. The 5-MTHF form is the preferred one for this setting. And the third supplement for neuropathy is CoQ10. Coenzyme Q10 is a potent antioxidant. It reduces nerve tissue damage from oxidative stress and can lessen the damage to the nerve. One of the big roles CoQ10 plays is to generate energy or ATP in the cells. And given that ATP is used for all body functions, it's not surprising that low levels of CoQ10 have been linked to chronic diseases. And I know dosing can be a real struggle with this one, but it seems that for CoQ10, 200 to 400 milligrams per day can deliver those results. The fourth supplement is curcumin, and I've made a video on it for weight loss that you can check up up here after this video. Curcumin is a primary active compound in turmeric known for its anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and calming properties. Curcumin was shown in a 2013 study to prevent chronic neuropathic pain from developing when taken in the early stages of nerve damage. And lastly, the fifth one, which is fish oil omega-3s. Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids are a type of fat the body can't make on its own. They are known as essential fats. They were studied for the role for maintaining healthy nerves and beneficial for, for promoting overall peripheral nerve health by preventing the decline of nerve function in diabetes and possibly even restoring nerve function altogether, which is why you often hear it recommended over and over again. 
And remember, omega-3s in the form of EPA and DHA is most likely the preferred choice for nerve health. And in terms of how long it should take to see the results, keep in mind that it will depend on how your body responds, but ideally with continuous use, it should generally take about three months. Click the red subscribe button down below if you found any value, and I'll see you guys on the next one.